Hello everybody, it's Howie Jones. And this is teasel and some garlic. Yeah. And uh I want to talk about my mulberry. Oh, there's a cabbage moth. Oh, there he goes. He's over there. Yeah. There he is. Oh yeah. Look at that. I like that. You don't see them too often because I have wasp here. And the wasps kill them and eat them. Oh, here he's come over to give me a show. Oh, nice. Look at that. Fantastic. Oh, he's gone. Yeah. There's a tree, a little tug. There we go. Yeah, and here's the apple tree that I ate this apple and then I just grew, I grew it. And it's a little about 10 years old. I just came off the Morning Gardener show and they were all talking on there about growing from pits and seeds. So, but I have had apples before on this. Oh, there's a bee that just went in there. But, uh, and, it, and the bees are all over it. But uh, yeah, and I'll get quite a bit of fruit off this. I'll get, you know, 35, 40, maybe 50 pounds of fruit off this. So, and it's quite extensive. It goes all the way over here. And then all the way over here. So I'll get quite a bit. This is a mulberry though. Here. This is a mulberry. And uh, there you go. And it's loaded with, with fruit. You see that? It's, it's loaded. Yeah. And down here. This is fever few. Controlling a high temperature. Nice thing to have. But look. Look at the forest floor. This is Camby's Lovage here. And this is, this is all sun chokes in here. See that? And it just grows a carpet of them. And uh, that's, why, that's why we're out here today. And uh, over here is the carpet. And this fellow here, he's digging these up. We're, they're going, this is gonna be part of the forest floor that he's removing. And he's putting it out on the edge of the property. And let's go see what he's doing and watch him. So yeah, here he is here. And this is uh, Mr. Raspberry. And uh, you want to say a few words about what you're doing here, Raz? Uh, basically, we've got uh, you know, patches of uh, sun choke out here. Yeah. And uh, basically, I'm. Uh, it's transferring them over to the this or, mound all around the, the property. Of the, of the property. I, I know we get thousands of pounds of yeah. of food every year, and you're you're upping the food the, the amount of food here uh, by most likely by twenty percent by moving them out, and then you're reusing this area that you're you've cleared out for growing uh, tomatoes, cucumbers, and That's and, right. and watermelon. So. In, in this way you get to keep you you get double the amount of food that's yeah. wonderful and, uh, and then we have a bit of a wall here for privacy privacy oh yes privacy is that's a nice thing yeah yeah well it looks good uh you've been doing a lot of work here and uh this is you've moved these beds of sun chokes hey look at that yeah. that's fantastic oh and you're putting one in right now putting one in right now there you go look at that when you pulled out the morning glory and 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 each one of them gets what ten, five or ten or fifteen sun chokes underneath uh yep wow there you have it folks underground food oh look at this sugar plum almost ready okay well thank you very much uh mr berry then and, uh, and uh I'll, I'll i'll check in with you in a little bit and go say hello to mr burns you know Oh, he took off the doggy. Here's a goji here. But you see how the how the grapes growing into the tree? You see, it grows into the tree. Fantastic uh, uh, vertical gardening. You see, the foods in the tree. Yep, the grapes in the cherry tree. The the mirabelle plum into the apple. See, it's going down in here. It goes up into this apple. Okay, well, this is Howie Jones. All the best. Thank you. And uh, treat everybody as good as you want to be treated yourself. Much love and respect.